Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this really easy nail art design. It's basically a scribble of color in between two other colors and it was inspired by a design that I saw Miss Jen Fabulous do on her channel. The main difference other than using different colors is that she did her design kind of vertically on the nail so the scribble was right up the center and I decided to do my colors horizontally so that it turns it into kind of more of a French tip design. So if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. So starting off with just two coats of my base color and I'm using Butter London Lady Muck, which is just kind of a shimmery gray. And then I'm going to be doing the tips of my nails with Chimney Sweep, which you can see is this kind of darker gunmetal gray. And since the line is going to be covered up by the middle color, you don't have to be super precise. I'm just going to go right in with the brush and cover about half of the nail. And depending on what polish you use, this may take one coat, may take two coats, may take just one and kind of a little touch up. That's just going to vary depending on your polish. All right, so I did two coats of the chimney sweep and that'll just make sure that your tips are nice and opaque. And then for the scribble, I'm going to be using this kind of silvery teal and this is called Victoriana. I'm gonna be putting my polish out on just a piece of scratch paper and I'm gonna be using a small dotting tool. You could also use a small brush if you want. That just comes down to your personal preference. And this is kind of the part that makes this design so easy. You know, even if the seam between your first two colors is completely ragged, as you come in, you're going to be covering that up. So I'm just going to dip my dotting tool into the teal. And I'm going to just start kind of dragging some lines onto my nail in varying spots, in varying lengths. And, you know, you don't have to make it completely opaque on the first pass. You can kind of come back and continue to fill in. And just continue that over all your nails. Now, once you've completed all your nails, you know, you can kind of go back and review them if you see any that have any little gaps or that you think could use a little more of the teal or even any where maybe you add a little too much teal and you think you need to go back and add some more of the base color, you can certainly do that. But, you know, just kind of go back and perfect them. Then go ahead and let them dry and finish off with the top coat. So guys, here's the finished look. Like I said, it's a super easy design. Even when you're using your non-dominant hand to paint, all you have to be able to do is a small straight line. So definitely let me know what you think down below in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.